Uh, surreal. I, mean, I, I still can't believe it happened. On Saturday, senior Jared Poche took to the mound for his first start of the season, and he did something no Tigers done since 1979. He threw a no-hitter. Crazy thing is, um, man, my dad said at walking on yesterday's, um, he's like, you can throw a no-hitter. I was like, why you, like, you know, why are you saying that? You know, putting putting that on me, and I was, you know, expecting to get, you know, hit all around the ballpark today. And the next thing you know, it happened. That's it's crazy the way things work. This was Poche's last opening day as a Tiger, and it couldn't have gone much better. I guess I went out with a bang. So. Yeah, it was a special day. I just asked him out there on the mound when I hugged him. I said, well, was it worth coming back to experience that today? And he said, absolutely. But Poche wasn't alone out there. Kramer Robinson came up with some great plays throughout the game. They kept Poche's no-hitter alive. I think the top of the seventh inning was as nervous as I've ever been as a baseball player for, for Poche. I, I wanted him to get it so bad. Tonight, Jared Poche made LSU history. His no-hitter was the first in nearly 40 years for the Tigers. And as you can tell, the players were pretty hyped up about it. Oh. I mean, I was, you know, I kind of felt awkward. I was like, man, I like to talk to people ah. <laughs> during the game. <laughs> that tastes terrible. <laughs> Poche's no-hitter also marked LSU's 25th 100th win. Reporting for Tiger TV Sports, I'm Dylan Alvarez.